The eerie silence alerted dispatch something wasn't right. But this is exactly where it occurred that evening. Uh, as you can see, this is a very rural road. A remote and secluded area in Slough House. Nothing around except a white van, no plates. A gruesome discovery of a violent struggle. On October 27, 2006, at about 3.24 in the morning, Deputy Mitchell had come in contact with a, a white van. Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Jeffrey Mitchell told dispatch he was checking on a white van he spotted on the side of Mace Road. About six or seven minutes later, dispatch hears his, his uh, radio keyed. Uh, there was a, a clearing of the air a little bit. Uh, they'd done a welfare check on him. There was no response. Dispatch told all nearby units to respond. About 14 minutes later, the first unit got here. The first officer to arrive found Deputy Mitchell on the ground. He had been shot. The white van was gone. It became clear to investigators Mitchell fought for his life. There was a violent encounter before someone shot Mitchell with his own gun. I remember my pager going off and reading uh, the page that we had an officer down. Sergeant Tony Turnbull was friends with Mitchell. I was in shock to see his name uh, come across my pager. An alert was put out on the freeway signs. Officers shot, white Chevy van, no plate. The very next day, a couple who had seen the alert reported a white van stuck in the Kasumnis River down below Highway 49 in El Dorado County. This is where uh, we located the, the white van uh, in the middle of the river. From the site of the murder to the location of the van is a 27 minute drive. Oh, I think it, they came directly here from uh, the scene. The van, already an important find, revealed a horrifying new layer in this case. I noticed immediately that they were deceased inside. Inside were the bodies of the van's registered owner, 43 year old Alan Schubert and his friend, 28 year old Nicole Welsh. Their cause of death, carbon monoxide poisoning. Turnbull believes they were already dead when Deputy Mitchell was shot and killed. And that's one of the theories that uh, Alan and Nicole were already deceased when the van was out here. Whoever was here with them, whether it's one person that was driving the van or there was multiple people, were trying to get rid of um, the bodies. Turnbull says the sheriff's office processed the van, interviewed the families of Welsh and Schubert, and investigated all leads. But the circumstances of this case, time of day, lack of evidence at the scene, and no witnesses, makes it incredibly difficult to investigate. Still, Turnbull and other detectives like Mickey Lynx insist this is not a cold case. That's never been a cold case. It's unsolved, but it's not cold. After 14 years, we, we've made a lot of strides, to be quite honest with you. To say there's no suspects or person of interest would be a lying to you. Um, we obviously have looked at somebody, some people strongly, and they have not been ruled out yet. This memorial stands where Deputy Mitchell was killed, but his co-workers are also reminded of him when they go to work. Boxes upon boxes of his case files line their cubicles. Are we there? I think we're close. I can't give you a time frame. Uh, but I can honestly say uh, we're, we're probably not far away. We just need something or somebody to get us over the top. If you know anything about this case, call 916-874-5057. Deputy Mitchell is survived by his wife, Crystal, son, Jake. Next week on Unsolved California, I sit down with Crystal Mitchell to go over the case, what she wants you to know, and how she is keeping her late husband's memory alive.